You've seen a big push for Evoto AI by a lot of photo influencers, and for good reasons, Evoto AI is awesome. So I actually love editing, but I hate retouching. And that's where Evoto comes in. So Evoto reached out, they wanted me to check out their software. Evoto AI and a lot of AI retouching tools do save you tons of time away from Photoshop. And in my opinion, anything that takes you away from Photoshop is a really, really good thing. But do you know, there's another software out there that retouches skin directly in Photoshop and has a big advantage that no one talks about. Retouch for me offers amazing utility software that I have been such a massive proponent of. Let's compare Evoto and Retouch for me. At the end of this video, I want to know which one you think will actually save you the most time and actually save you the most money at the end because you actually be able to earn more money by going after new clients instead of spending time in Photoshop. But if you want to keep retouching stuff manually in Photoshop, well, please skip this video. This is not for you. So both Evoto and Retouch for Me have tons of deep skin editing features that will solve most of your portrait issues. For example, Evoto has over 30 features dedicated only to body and skin, which is actually pretty awesome. And if I compare it to Retouch for Me, Retouch for Me has 12 specific tasks, or 11 really, that is dedicated only to portrait work. Both software work in really different ways if you compare both. So the, I think the simplest way to approach this problem is to do three things, is to compare what we do mostly as portrait photographers, which is number one, skin healing, which is basically called acne and freckle in Evoto. The second one will be dodge and burn. So where are we gonna remove all these small little issues that we cause by lighting or little shadows that we don't wanna see. The third one is dodge and burn again, but at the macro level, or what Retouch for Me calls portrait volumes, which is basically contouring and adding lighting to wherever you want, or basically con creating contrast in a nutshell. Later in the video, we'll go over other features that I think that are interesting, but for now, let's focus on these three and retouch the photo. So here is the raw portrait of my friend. This is in Capture One, so ignore that part. This setup that I use for this one is a three light setup that you can see on my Instagram. You can follow me to, for more setups. It's a three, three, three light setup, basically one for the background, one for overhead, and one main light for the face. So in order to be fair to the software and compare them really apple to apple, we'll push the files at 100% or all the effects at 100%. I don't wanna go 50, I don't wanna measure by my eye, they'll just be very, very neutral, and go to the maximum effect and see the one that behaves the best for our needs. Let's start with Evoto. Evoto is a standalone software, so basically you need to download it, which is free. You only pay basically per credit. The way that Evoto call their healing, which we'll compare in Retouch for Me, is called Acne and Freckle. Uh, there's no other currently features being applied, so this is really raw. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push Freckle and Acne to its basically maximum. All the blemishes and acne has been removed from Rosie's face. And now, now we see this, let's jump into Photoshop. And the reason why we're in Photoshop is because the software that Retouch Me uses is based on Photoshop. So it uses Photoshop, but there's also a standalone version that you can get, and also a panel if you want to get this in a big, big panel here, which is Cloud Retouch or also on device. So I ran it once before, but let me run it again. I'll uh, just delete this. The best way to approach this is to make a new layer because again, it's Photoshop. And let's run in through filters, Retouch for Me here. As you can see, it's pretty fast. Uh, I would suggest also making a mask so you can have a little more control if you want to reduce the opacity or change something else in the actual photo. Let's zoom in a little bit and see the impact. Let's apply it. A little zoomed in. I'm gonna open this. So this is again without the retouching and with the retouching. As you can see, it's a little less aggressive than Evoto. Uh, which made the skin basically almost perfect by you, you removing everything basically that's uh, basically unwanted into the photo in terms of blemishes. So Photoshop, Evoto, Photoshop, Evoto. So now the, the skin is healed according to both software, let's apply the dodge and burn. So Evoto calls it smooth face skin, what well, really we know it's dodge and burn. So let's apply dodge and burn. And it did remove a lot of the small issues here, especially with some reflections that we got from the shirt. So now that we see what Evoto has done, let's go back into Photoshop and do the same thing with Retouch for Me. Now that we're in Photoshop, let's apply the dodge and burn. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing that we did previously, which is to create another layer in order to add the dodge and burn effect. So let's Control J, add another layer. And we're gonna run Retouch for Me. 
and dodge and burn. Let's apply here. As you can see, it fixed some things way less aggressive than Evoto. Evoto made this Evoto Photoshop, Evoto Photoshop. And again, one last time, Evoto and Photoshop. All right, last but not least, let's do portrait volume. All right, so the way that portrait volume works kind of in Evoto is not exactly portrait volume. It's a different way, but it's called skin texture which is a really strange way to name it, but that's their own way. So they have a three mode that you can actually play around with afterwards, which is Mate, which is uh, this one. Satin, which is to add volume by adding lighting or contrast basically some area. And Dewey to make it really more exaggerated, but almost blown in my opinion. Now let's go into Photoshop and let's apply the same thing with Retouch Me. So same thing, soft light layer. Let's apply it and let's see what's going on with this, as you can see doing the thing on the great layer let's group everything together so this is all the retouching applied again this is portrait volume healing and dodge and burn all at once before after before after before and after and let's compare it now to evoto this is photoshop evoto and photoshop so in terms of look, um, which one do you prefer? I'd like to know your opinion. I have some opinions of my own. I think one looks better than the other and some miss and some is too perfect in some cases. For example, this blemish was missed by uh, Retouch For Me when Evoto actually took care of it very nicely. And in a couple of seconds, I'm gonna actually put a side by side so you can see which one did best and you can compare yourself. So in terms of pricing, things have changed as you know from the industry, where before, back in the days, we used to have the beauty of paying for one software and it was supported for X amount of time. Now came in the subscription model where we had to pay every month for the same software. And lastly, we have the new model, which is to consumption based. Basically you pay every time you use the actual software or you produce something with the software. I'm gonna reserve my comments on all three models, but both, Retouch Me and Evoto uses the same principle to price their products. So if you wanna just try it out uh, at the base level, basically which is free, you can have five photos that are retouched with Evoto, which is basically five photos that are exported. So you can use all the modules and then when you're done, you export and you can do it up to five times with whatever work you have in your portfolio that you wanna try. The same thing can be said for Retouch Me as they have 20 actions that are available to actually retouch. But actions and photos different. Actions means every time you're using one of the software, so an example, you're using Dodge and Burn, it's gonna count as one action. If you're using Heal, it's gonna count as a second action. Three, whatever, whatever, you get the point. So if you're more of a pay as you go or consume or credit based user, Here's how it works. Evoto has set up their entire software as a way that you basically pay an amount up front and you get a certain number of exports attached to your pricing. For example, you can buy up to 1200 photos exported at 7 cents each, which is a one time fee for every photo. And Retouch Me, if I compare, the package are much, much lower uh, because they are based on subscription. So basically, you have to pay every month and you get credits added to your account. For example, the lowest number of actions you can buy is 10 cents an action. At 500 action, you get 0.07 and 1500 actions, you get 0.06 cents. So basically six cents, seven cents and 10 cents if I go up the scale. Again, this is based on monthly consumption. You can buy these one-off package, but to compare, it will be very difficult. And you can see the chart here. You can figure it out. Just press pause if you want to look more. But there's one big advantage of the one actually I've been saying earlier in the video. As of now, as I'm writing this and as I'm like typing all of this stuff and putting this video together, in June 7th of 2024, you can actually buy the software outright for a small price, which means you can actually own it until it's actually not working anymore. So that's a great thing. If you're not a big fan, you're just waiting, willing to spend cash outright and not be done with it and not having it. The only issue is that you're not getting the entire panel. You're just getting one action. So if there's something that you hate to do, for example, I really, really dislike dodge and burn at the micro level. Uh, I actually bought it myself way back in the days and that's been saving me a lot of time because I, the action of dodge and burn is actually very tedious and I absolutely dislike it. And it does a pretty good job at doing it at the micro level. 
but now that we've reached the end of the video with the pressing element alone like what do you think is the best option for you is it evoto or retouch me and currently as i'm editing this there are additional discounts being offered so make sure you use the code events 20 for 20 percent and more on your whatever you buy from retouch me i get a little referral you save money and i really appreciate it all right, that's it for me. Leave me your comments. Let me know which one you prefer and which result you like the most. I'll be posting the same thing in Instagram, so follow me there, and I'll see you in the next video.